Welcome back. Throughout this pandemic, social isolation has been a serious problem for so many of us. And for senior citizens, especially those living in nursing homes and assisted living facilities, the effects have been devastating. Paul? Yeah, that's right, Wendy. And back in December, our in-depth reporter Anthony Hill uncovered just how serious social isolation was for older adults living here in the Tampa Bay area. And tonight, an update. He's revisiting this issue with a full look at how virtual reality is helping these seniors stay connected. This is Virgil Pitzinger. He's 72 years old and he's been living at Sodalis Assisted Living Community in Tampa for three years now. He enjoys being surrounded by friends and socializing. But during the pandemic, he was one of many senior citizens who felt socially isolated. You see, COVID-19 forced older adults to self-isolate for their own safety. But out of this negative comes a positive in the form of virtual reality. Something straight out of a sci-fi movie. Goggles that transport you and helps you live life in a new way. You can see do the new things by looking through the goggles and seeing another world. Right now, Virgil is experiencing a symphony. Really? It's gorgeous. And his friend, Pamela, is watching The Lion King on Broadway. Very cool. While sitting at home in Tampa. How have your, you know, your senior citizens reacted to this technology? How has it been in general? Uh, first, they were a little hesitant because, of course, something new. Michelle Abreante is the executive director of Sodalis Assisted Living in Tampa. They purchased the VR goggles in November. And although some were apprehensive in the beginning, she says most residents are embracing the technology. With coronavirus and um, all those limitations we had to put in place, unfortunately, it limited a lot of um, um, opportunities for everyone to enjoy life. So we've essentially reimagined VR away from this youth-based gaming culture to a very safe, secure, and senior-friendly platform. Chris Brickler is the co-founder of MindVR, the company that makes these goggles. They work with hundreds of senior living communities across the country. They started making these VR goggles five years ago, but have been improving them over the years. We're just super excited about providing this service to so many uh, older people that are, you know, sometimes lonely, combating isolation, certainly with the pandemic, that's been a big problem. Um, but we also... Uh, provided a lot of joy that helps with um, some of the depression and anxiety that exists in senior living. As for Virgil, we will break the isolation and yeah, you can take a trip and not leave your chair. <laughs> he says he'll continue to use these virtual reality goggles. Not worry so much about what's going on in the world today, which is quite a rough world out there, you know? I've posted more information on our website, including how you can buy these virtual reality goggles. And if you know an older person who is feeling alone and needing help, I've also posted the number to the Florida Department of 